So I'm going to go get Jasmine, and then... I'll stand here and yeah. look good. My boss counted the number of times I started writing this and started over because words do not give justice to the way I feel about you. I told you I'd love you hundreds of times, but those three words aren't enough. They don't capture the intensity of how fast my heart beats when I find myself thinking about you at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday. Or how my eyes get hot and my throat tightens when I hear a song that makes me think about you. Or how when I lay my head on your chest and you wrap your arms around me, my entire world feels at peace. Nervous? A little bit. Like I said, I feel feel better than I thought I would. Okay. Don't turn around. I need to fix my one button. Hold on. Okay, I'm good. Even though I love you doesn't begin to cover it, I promise you will hear those three little birds a lot for the rest of your life. Welcome family and friends. For those who don't know me, my name is Lydia and I am beyond honored to stand as not only a bridesmaid but as an officiant to the marriage of Jasmine and Red. Today, you all have been invited to witness this very special occasion. You are an irreplaceable part of their yesterdays. A very special part of their today. And a treasure part of all of their tomorrows. For the rest of their lives, the memory of having all of you here today will stay with them, and for that, they are grateful. Do you like it? Yes, it's beautiful. The essence of this union is the taking of another person in his or her entirety as partner, companion, and a friend for life. It is with great joy that we gather today to bear witness to their happiness. Yeah. I hear your dress. <laughs> yeah. Jasmine, we've known each other for three and a half years, but it already feels like a lifetime. I don't know if we're supposed to kiss before. I don't care. <laughs> At the point in my life just before we met, I honestly wasn't sure if there was anyone out there for me. In 2020, I started running, gaining confidence, becoming a better version of myself, and then like a perfect story, you came along. One good one. You want to lean this way? Like this? Like this? Are we doing something? Even though today is the date that will be written down in history, October 28, 2020, will always be a close second. Like every modern romance, Jasmine and Rhett began with swiping right. 
<laughs> Brett commented, where's that, on a photo of Jasmine in Montana. I still remember the feeling I had when you messaged me back. Messages turned to texts, and texts turned to dates. You were the first real date in my life, a complete stranger. I was willing to open myself up to. It feels like just yesterday that I was hearing about Jasmine and Brett's first date, where, this may be shocking to some, there was not a first kiss, but a first firm handshake. <laughs> and just like that, both of their lives were changed forever. Do you, Rhett, take Jasmine to be your wife, to be no other than herself, to love what you know and trust what you do not know yet, to respect her integrity and have faith in her abiding love for you through all your years and in all that life may bring? If so, say, I do. I do. Do you, Jasmine, take Rhett to be your husband, to be no other than himself, to love what you know and trust what you do not know yet, to respect his integrity and have faith in his abiding love for you through all your years and in all that life may bring? If so, say, I do. I do. Thank you all for being here to celebrate a marriage between two people who truly love each other. It's rare two people so down to earth, compassionate and funny, of course, can meet and not necessarily be each other's better halves because I believe both of them are amazing, sincerely. But to come together and be the best partnership I've ever been used. Jasmine, even though you no longer serenade me with you are my sunshine, <laughs> and the good old days of putting on dance shows for anyone willing to watch are over, I know that the memories that lay ahead in the next chapter of our lives are going to be just as great, if not better. I've enjoyed the last year planning our weddings. <laughs> I could not be more honored that you asked me to be your maid of honor. I'm hoping you'd be willing to swap titles and return the favor and be my maid of honor next June. <laughs> we love you so dearly. May the love you have for each other guide your steps every day so that you always find your way to happiness. We love you so much. Cheers. I vow to love and support you every single day for all the years to come. I'll pick you up when you are down. I'll always be there for you when you need a shoulder to cry on. 
I vow to grow with you, learn with you, and learn from you. I vow to take you on sushi dates, visit national parks, go on new vacations, adopt more orange cats, and keep adding endlessly to our adventure book. I vow to give you the best version of myself today and every day until my last day. You've been my best friend, my girlfriend, my fiance, and today before God, family, and friends, you'll be my wife. And I promise that every day for the rest of my life, I will make you feel love. You will feel love during your highest highs and your lowest lows. You will feel love during all of your accomplishments, which I know you will have many. But you will also feel love when we inevitably fail. I promise to make you and us my number one priority. I promise that even as we raise our babies, I will see you as my husband first and a father second and a cat dad third. <laughs> I promise to hold myself to the highest standards when it comes to your heart, and I promise to hold you gently when the world seems too, seems too harsh. I promise that no matter where we are in the world, you can look at me and always feel at home. I promise for it that as long as I am breathing, you will never have to wonder if you are loved. To love and be loved by you is the greatest gift this life has given me. And I hope that in every single lifetime, we find each other again and get just another minute longer. Jasmine, I love you, and I'll continue falling in love with you more every single day. Love, Red. You did good, baby. I'm gonna make sure I didn't miss a page. <laughs> I don't think I did. You did good. It just went by so fast. I know. You did good, baby. Okay.